everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to continue from our last one in which we had a first look at VBA in Excel. So if you haven't set, checked out that video, you might want to do that quickly now before watching this one uh, because it will be beneficial from some of the topics we covered. Uh, but in this video, we're going to start looking at how do we reference a cell within the Excel workbook and therefore how do we place some information into that desired cell. So it won't be a too long a video, uh, we're going to do each of these videos, hopefully it won't be no longer than 10 minutes each, uh, with each video with a dedicated topic. So without further delay, we'll jump straight in and uh, yeah, as I said, just to give you a bit of insight, each video will gradually uh, build upon each other so that at the end of it we can all tie that information together and actually start doing some uh, interesting functions and obviously really building out some time-saving uh, techniques for using uh, VBA in Excel. So what we want to do is we want to go into our uh, VBA window, so we can do Alt and F11, and I'll just bring that over to my screen here. And what I might also do is just reduce the size of this just so we can get everything on one page. So you should be able to see the developer window there. Perfect. So, as you remember from yesterday's video, we're going to do our code within a module. So, let's go insert module, and you can see we're now in there. So, the, what we're going to do here is we want to input some text into uh, cell A1. So, for us, that's this first cell here in the top left hand corner. In order to do that, we're again going to store this or store the code within a subroutine. So, we're going to enter sub. Uh, space and then we need to name what this routine is going to be called so for us we'll put uh, some text so very original uh, title there and then enter the two um, brackets so the open and the close hit enter and that will automatically end automatically automatically populate that end sub for us so we know we need all our code to be within these two lines here and I'm just going to always end then uh, just because it makes it easier for reading the code back so in order for us to reference that cell, so cell A1, there's a couple of different parameters that we need to use. So we first need to tell the code what sheet uh, we are wanting to put information in. And within that sheet, what range or what cell reference do we then also want to populate? So what we'll do is the first thing we need to do is define the sheet. So it's very simply just put in sheets, so sheets like that, and open brackets. And then from within here, we can either enter the index, so what is the number uh, that is relevant to this, um, this particular sheet. But what we're going to do, again, just to make sure this stays nice and clear and it's easy to read, we're actually going to just label the sheet name. So for us, that's going to be sheet 1. And what we need to do is put that in within quotations, because this is actually a, uh, a string or text that we're actually going to enter into this. And string is a type of... Uh, a variable and obviously it, it defines the context or the information you're putting in uh, and what we'll be doing is covering these in a bit more detail in another video so don't worry about those terms just yet so what we need to do is enter in here sheet one close up uh, quotes and close our brackets the next thing we now need to do is define what the range or where that cell reference is so what we then need to do is do a full stop and then we can now type in, and we'll do two different methods for doing this, but the first one we'll do is range. So just type in their range, and open brackets. And we then need to do another quotation. And this is simply going to now put in here the actual cell reference. So for us, by using range, all we need to do in here is put in the A1 within those quotations and close our brackets again. So, so far, we've got our sheets, and that obviously refers to the sheet name. The next part is the range, which is um, referring to the cell reference. So at the moment, if we ran this command, we would be able to get Excel to select that cell. But actually, we want to put some information in there. So we're just going to do one more uh, full stop. And we're going to say that we want to actually populate a value within that cell. So all we need to do here is go value equals and another set of quotations. And then now within these quotations, we can type in here what we actually want to populate into that cell. So for us, we're going to simply put into here, um, hello world. What is the text we used in yesterday's video? Or well, yesterday, if it's when the video came out. Uh, but that's what we used in our previous video with the message box. But this time we're going to populate it into our cell. Once we've entered that information, we can then hit enter. 
and you can see it's formatted the text for us and by that I mean it's give the capital on the sheets the range and the value uh, and when it does this it's a good way or good indication that the information you're entered is correct and basically the VBA has understood the information you've put in. So if we now run this and just to recap we can either put this green play button here or as again indicated when I hovered over there we can hit F5 and that will then do, the, do it for us. So if we hit F5 you can see we've now got hello world populated into cell A1. If we were to change this text so we go in here and we go uh, hello everyone and run that again by pushing S5 you can see that it's automatically going to override that for us as well. Alternatively if we want to now change where that uh, is going we can simply go into here and we can change this to now and maybe A2 so if we were to do that and hit F5 you can see how it's now going to move into cell A2. So this is a really simple way of being able to populate some information into your given cell reference. Another option we have for doing this when referring to a particular cell is we can actually go in here and do very similar but instead of using range we can put the actual cell reference and using the actual numbers to identify the row and the column. In order to do that we go sheets again and we want to go sheet 1 and this time we're going to use uh, cells so we can go cells like so and open our brackets and then this time what we need to do is we just need to put the numbers or numbers that identify the row and then the column that we actually want to populate information into. So for us, if we wanted to do uh, cell A or yes, yeah, cell A1, it's simply going to be row one, column one, close brackets, and that's the same way of referring to cell A1. Next we then just need to do dot value equals uh, hello again, let's just put something in here that's different so you can see it's changed, hit enter and then what we'll do is let's change, yeah we've got A2 there, it's going to do hello everyone so we'll see it's going to change. So you can see it's now populate that as well. So all you need to do with when it works with the cells reference here is you just need to keep changing the row and the column number to reference the cell that you want to populate. This can sometimes be easier when you're working with dynamic calculations as we'll get onto later. Uh, when you want to perform a calculation to define what column or row you want to populate. But alternative to that, this first row here of range, the range A2 or range and, and the other cell reference you want to refer to is a really good way, when you, especially when you get started, uh, as it's quite clear and indicates to you the cell that you're trying to populate. So that's everything we have planned for today's video. So suggestion would be take that information, have a play around referring to different cells within your sheet just so you familiarise yourself with the code and obviously you get comfortable with populating information within that sheet as well. Obviously we reference sheet number one here but you can enter any sheet that's in your applicable uh, workbook and obviously if you were to change the sheet name, so we had to change this to sheet two, you also need to remember to obviously update this sheet reference here to be sheet two as well, else you're going to get the error and it's not able to find your sheet. So that's everything we have for today's video. Uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification button. That way you'll be notified of all of our future videos in this series that are coming out. And lastly, if you did enjoy the video and that gave you some insight into using VBA, please do give the video a like. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it helps that all-important YouTube algorithm as well. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorised together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.